Welcome back to another preview, Florida Panthers. Don't go nowhere. They are back at home after five game on the road, and they have a great record of the four W and one loss. The Panthers are going to play tonight at seven o'clock Eastern time at the PBT Center. Again, the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, Chicago was the only two game they played this season. It was at the beginning of the season, if you re remember that. It was at home, and since that, they never see again uh, the Chicago Blackhawks. And it's funny thing about that is, since that, both teams have a great season so far, more better what everybody was expe expected, more for the expert. And uh, be honest with you, uh, Florida Panthers are number three in the Central Division, and the Chicago Blackhawks are number four. And... Uh, You know, Chicago is all about Patrick Kane, who has already 40, 40 points this season. On the flip side, us at the Panthers, we have a UB, 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 do, 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 with 32 points. And uh, it's a really a team similar. We have a lot of young players inside that team, and it will be very interesting now uh, when they're going to face each other. So um, let's move on right away, what we do every single day. But before we talk about the game tonight, I want to mention to you the schedule of an NHL today. This is a really busy day for hockey. Honestly, 12 games in the program. Start today at 1 o'clock is the Rangers versus Boston. You can go all the way to the end. But I want to you pay attention. This game, 5 o'clock between Dallas and Columbus. They are two, two teams are chasing uh, the Chicago and also the Panthers. So we want to be sure uh, what could happen if they have been us with you. I'll be more worried about the Dallas. So if Dallas can lose this game, that will helping also the uh, the Panthers, I believe, at some point. Then we have another game at 7 o'clock between the Nashville and the Tampa Bay Lightning. This is another game where the Tampa Bay could win that game that we're helping the Panthers stay in the playoff uh, for sure. And finally, they are not other team play in the Central Division uh, today. So it would be very interesting Uh, to check also tonight. Just want to remind you, I'm going to streaming the game, live streaming uh, the Panthers game. At the same time, I'm watching Montreal Canadian. The Panthers are on my right, Montreal on my left, and I'm talking about you guys. And we can hanging out together, talking about the game and exchange, everything like that. So very interesting. I saw this last week, and we're getting better, more and more people uh, join me, and we talk about the game. So let's move on with the stat. First of all, the This is the third time they meet each other. So far, the Florida Panthers won the first two games 2 0. And the goal are 10 versus 6. Advantage for the Florida Panthers. The shot are similar 66 both teams. The power play, three goals on power play, and, and five at 10 for the Blackhawks, and three and eight for the Panthers. And a minute penalty, 16 for the Blackhawks, and 10 for the Panthers. Uh, If we look a little bit more deeper about the stats, uh, let's move on. We expect Lankin in uh, between, the, between the pipe for the Blackhawk. It's not confirmed. Purposki is confirmed, so Sergei is going to be there. Uh, the Hawks are 14, 9, and 5 so far, and they are uh, fourth in division. And they, are, they won the last game against Dallas before they lost against Dallas also Tuesday night, 6 to 1. On the Panthers, they are 17-5-4. They won the last um, uh, two games against the Columbus Blue Jacket. And they are number third in Central Division. The special team, one of the best power play in the NHL, the Blackhawks Chicago, they are 30.9. And the uh, PP for Panthers, not too bad, 8 in NHL at 26.2. Uh, the PK for Chicago, they struggle. That's the reason why they have a chance to get more power play. The Panthers, I believe they can win. They are 73.9, 24 in the league. And the Panthers are 77.6, 18 in the league. Goals for uh, Panthers still top five in NHL, 3.39, 3.04, 14 for the Blackhawks. The goal again at 2.85 for the Panthers, 13 in the league. And 3.07, 19 for the Hawks. And 
the face of uh, Panthers are 49.020 in the league, and the Hawks are 47.026 in the league. So in the beginning of the year, the most the goal is that the Brinkat has 15 for the Hawks. They have a really great season so far. Orvis now is at 11. Huberto have 32 points. And Patrick Kane, like I said I earlier, is a 40 point. The TOI, uh, the veteran defenseman Duncan Keat is at 23.51. And of course, Aaron at 25.18. Most uh, win, both Goldender have 10 wins so far. Lenkinen have 10 wins. And for the Panthers, Sergey Poproski. Shopping up. What you need to know, uh, we know uh, already the, the part of number one. We already mentioned about this. The 7 o'clock game is also at home. The Panthers, the last five games, they are 4-1-0. They are goals 4-22, goals against 16. Their PK is a 6-20. That's a very good uh, you know, percentage there. And their P, this is a power play. Their PK is a 3-15. That's not too bad at all. The last five games... Eggblend have eight points. That's pretty amazing. Eggblend have three goals, five assists. You be, you be, you be, you be, you be, do, do, do. Have a six assists in the last five game. And Wiggy for Wigar have plus four in the last five game. The, what they need to do is to be sure they for check their D. I think their D are not too much experience, although it's Duncan Key. So if they can forecheck them, really a good solid two versus one, a uh, two-one-two on their offensive side. I think that we're helping the Panthers tonight against them. Of course, because the power play is Chicago number three in the NHL, they have to be sure we are out of the bo- the penalty box because the power play is strong. Always look for what Kane, Patrick Kane. I have, you have to pay attention to Patrick Kane. Can score for anywhere, and don't forget also not only Kane but also uh, the Brinkat. Uh, Kusarev, uh, Kusarev is a really good young player uh, for them. So it would be very interesting to see uh, that player also um, for the Hawks. And uh, of course, we forgot also the brain cap. Um, finally, the player of the last 10 game. I'm sorry about that. The last 10 game, the Panthers are 6 3 and 1. The goals 4 33. Goal again 29. The power play. Pretty good, 7 and 34. And the power, power kill is very low at 7, 28. That's something you need to get better. And like I said, the last couple of games, they need to be sure that power, their PK is stronger for sure. And because he scored a winning goal in OT against the Chicago Blackhawks at the second game of the season, right? Frank Venetro is a profile player of the day. He has a 26 game. He has nine goals, three assists, and 12 points. And, of course, you have a plus minus four. And, you know, we have a couple of players have a really good season so far. But with surprise, with not this kind of expectation, and Frank Benetro is the one of being as with you with Carter Venehi. And I think Aaron Eggblen have a better season than what we expect. And Uber Do right now has 32 points. He have a great season. We know what Barkov can do. We can mention also Kudas have a great season for the Panthers. And what about Bobrovsky? The last six, seven games, he have an amazing, great run right now for him. And uh, our captain is still doing a great job for the Panthers. So that's conclude the preview of the Florida Panthers tonight. And don't forget me. Uh, to, don't forget to come back after the game for the post game for the Panthers. And finally, I want to mention to you before we leave here. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also on the Facebook page on the Hockey Nation Live Show. And like we like to do at the end of each video, you, Panthers fan, remember, you have greatness inside of you. Bon match, mes amis. Don't forget, live stream tonight, 7 o'clock. And I look forward to see you after the game for the post game.